I'm Jess Cominton for IB Times TV reporting from the floor of the New York Stock Exchange where stocks jumped to a five year high today after unemployment benefits fell to a five year low. Other positive data today showed that housing starts rose, but manufacturing in the mid Atlantic region slowed. Michael Gooley from Knight Capital will be speaking with us about the latest housing data as well as what the manufacturing data means for going into 2013. Wall Street jumped on Thursday after unemployment benefits dropped to a five-year low. The Labor Department said that initial claims for state unemployment benefits fell 37,000 to a seasonally adjusted 335,000, the lowest level since January 2008. But the Philadelphia Federal Reserve Bank said its business activity index fell well below economists' expectations. Earlier in the week, the New York Fed's Empire State General Business Condition Index also fell, surprising economists. Unemployment benefits dropped to a five-year low today. What do you think this means for 2013? Well, I think uh, there's a lot to be optimistic about. However, um, despite all the positive reports came out today, whether it be the housing, the, per the housing permits, the um, new home starts, or even the unemployment number, there's still some, some maybe some gloom in the future. I think that. Uh, in particular, you know, the Philly Fed index came out. That was an indicator that um, manufacturing is contracting. And then you also have uh, new tax laws being enacted. I know this month uh, people are going to be getting less money in their paychecks. It's going to give less money for the consumer to spend. So that could probably have an effect on the economy. And two separate surveys this week showed manufacturing was down in New York and the mid-Atlantic region. Did the fiscal cliff, as well as questions over the debt ceiling, end up slowing business investment spending? Yeah, it definitely could have. I think uh, you know all the speculation that was going on at the time certainly tempered everybody's enthusiasm for, for getting into business, for expanding, for growth. So I think it definitely played a role in, uh, in that number. Groundbreaking on new homes rose in December to its fastest pace in over four years. The Commerce Department said on Thursday that starts at building sites for homes surged just over 12% last month to a 954,000 unit annual rate. Building permits also edged up to a 903,000 unit rate, the fastest pace since July 2008. Housing starts jumped in December. Now, December isn't typically a big month for groundbreaking on new homes. Do you think this is a rebound due to Hurricane Sandy? Well, that may have played a part in it. I think also the, uh, the uh, climate being so warm, that, that definitely had a role in uh, the, the number coming out. Housing starts and building permits were up. What does this mean for the housing market recovery? Well, I think housing has been a uh, lone bright spot in what's been an otherwise sluggish economy. So it's nice to see something you know, go, starting to go our way, so to speak. Uh, I'm optimistic, but again, I'd be tempered by um, the, uh, the new tax laws and any legislation that might uh, go through Washington. Bank of America and Citigroup failed to beat analyst estimates, but Intel is scheduled to report earnings after the close today. I'm Jessica Minton for IB Times TV.